Hello and welcome to the 71st tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the UI element of UI checkbox. We'll be using the source code from the 7th part of the series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with a UI extension which contains loads of UI elements enabling us to create menus, hoods, etc. In this tutorial we, look, we will look at the UI checkbox element. Uh, the UI checkbox is a graphical user interface element that provides the user with a binary choice aka on or off. A real life example of this would be an audio toggle which is on or off. So if you click it, it maybe if it's on you disable the audio, if it's off you enable the audio. So before we can actually code anything because we're using a UI element, we need to include the extensions module and to do that just open up the project.json in any text editor will do. I want to use Sublime text, it's a mailing text editor for what it is, obviously download is, is a necessity for Mac developers in my opinion and to add the extension you just do comma, quotation marks, extensions, save that that's literally all you need to do to include the extension, it's that simple and the next thing what we're going to do is include our assets or add our assets to our project and these assets will be for the different states that checkbox can be in and I've already got them in a folder so you are checkbox so we got let's have a look which ones we've got we got checkbox active uh, checkbox active press checkbox active normal disabled press normal again so if we just copy and paste these if we go to our res folder medium res so just paste them here, just added them for the medium res as that is what the bread is using. But you will need them for all three resolutions, aka the large, medium, and small, if you plan on publishing for other platforms uh, except for the web. Um, so, what we're going to do now is go to our resource.js, and in here, we're simply going to add our files. So, it's going to duplicate this line, comma, and modify it accordingly. So I'm just going to name this check box active. And I'm going to change this to check underscore box underscore active. Obviously, make sure you you name it according to whatever your images are. But this is what mine is. Comma. I'm just going to copy and paste that. This is active. Clicked. This is active. Disabled. Disabled. Yeah, that's spell correctly by the look of it and this is underscore press so this is underscore disable now what we can do is just simply copy and paste this and here we're going to chain active to normal we're also going to do the same here do the same here and in the checkbox active we're going to chain this to normal same here, basically just change all instances of active to normal for the last three. Remove the comma at the end. It doesn't actually matter if you leave it, but I just want to remove it. So now we can just save this. We've got our assets included. Just minimize that. And now what we're going to do is open up our app.js because we've got our extension module included. We've added our assets and we've added it to the resources file. And now what we can do is create our checkbox. So var check box equals new cc ui dot check box no it's about to be called incorrectly picked up my variable name check box and now for this we're going to do check box dot load textures and the textures we're going to load are res dot check box normal underscore png res dot check box normal collect underscore png res dot check box active underscore png and now we've loaded our textures and now we're just going to set the position so check box dot x equals size dot width divided by two is going to center this in the screen. I'm going to comment this out a second. 
and do checkbox dot y equals size dot height divided by two. And you might think we've set the sprite position with dot set position. You can set it uh, for the checkbox as well. You don't have to set it like this. This is just an alternate method for setting or position for stuff in Cocos 2D JS. This is great if you just need to set the position of one item or one uh, axis of x or y. So what we're going to do now is checkbox dot add event a listener which we'll be creating in a second this dot selected state event comma there nothing to do in the constructor is to add it as a child so this dot add child checkbox save that now what we're going to do is comma selected state event colon function and in here and take sender and the type and what this function is it will trigger when you change the state of the checkbox so it's just has two states so switch type kccui dot checkbox dot event underscore on selected colon you are going to do cc dot log not selected do a break now what we're going to do is copy and paste this to save time like I said there were two and the next one is selected so it's going to change this to selected and you'll see when these are triggered in a moment when we run our application so let's just minimize this open up terminal cd to our project directory run the cocos command okay nothing has appeared let's inspect element okay so any errors no errors so what i'm assuming is if i just remove the cached images and files job should be all good refresh yep there we go sometimes you just need to remove the cache images and files so if I click that as you can see it's switching between it and if we open up console refresh so the log is completely clear and if I click it and activate it, it says selected because it is now selected and now if I deselect it it's not selected but if I click and drag away and click or let go because it doesn't initiate the switch it doesn't print anything out so if I click this it's uh, detected that it's selected and aka it's turned on so you could turn your music on for example and if you click this again it says not selected so you could disable your audio and if we go back to our app.js you may be wondering why we only use three images here instead of the six images this is actually a task for you to do now Look at the Cocos 2D JS API guide, look at the Cocos 2D JS samples and experiment with the checkbox and the different parameters you can provide with it. As another task, if you're feeling adventurous, is to combine this with audio, so have a UI checkbox which enables and disables audio and a button which when click plays a sound but only if the audio UI checkbox is turned on. If you want to know how to use audio, check out our uh, previous tutorials in this series it covers all of the stuff that you need for audio and as another task on top of that just check out the other functions that are offered by checkbox and you can find that on the cocos 2 djs api guide and in the cocos 2 djs samples in the next tutorial we will cover using the ui element ui image view if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.